put up some resistance and what can you do to sort of make sense of the craziness that's going on in the world mm -hmm. and how it might affect the individual and the family. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a big task and we're all faced with it. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because one of my favorite, I've, I've said it on the show many times, one of my favorite ways to define trauma is anything that arrives before you have a chance to create it. And, and it's the lack of preparation. It's like if you wake up in the morning and the first thing you do is turn on your computer in the news and you hear like, uh, uh, I think today it was uh, 80 people were killed by a, uh, by a guy driving a truck. You hear that sort of stuff, you, you literally, this, this, is, this is the definition of something that arrives that you haven't had a chance to create. And I think what, at, at ground zero, at the impact of that, you have a couple of choices. And I think some of those choices can make it worse and actually turn it into a trauma. And uh, I think that what I might suggest, and uh, this, this comes from my sort of theoretical model and my perspective, is you have to at least initially engage with the impact of this event. As each of these events happen, they have a chance also to compound themselves, so we ratchet ourselves up more. And more. I think being able to do something with that initial impact, allowing yourself to acknowledge, there's a, I know I say it all the time, but right. Dan right. Siegel That's has a, a way of saying, if you, you, the first step is to name it, to tame it. Right. And to be able to say, you know, this is a trauma. When things like this happen, they may not be happening to me, since I'm part of the, the, the world out there, since I'm connected in the ways that we are, they do affect us. We are hit too. 